at it again with another reaction video, man. Hope you guys are having a blessed day. Staying lit, staying on top of your grind. Last but not least, get into that bag, man. Go get that bag. Why? You don't go get it. Nobody's going to get it for you, man. Four reaction videos in total coming today. Expect them to be dropping from 2, 2, 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. 2 p.m. to 6 p.m., you feel me? Today we got, this is why you should never be in the Amazon alone, man. This is why you should never be alone in the Amazon. Same thing, you feel me, man? We about to get straight into this. It's one of the longer videos, but we about to get straight into it. Let's go. I really wanted to know, like, why you shouldn't be in the Amazon alone. Like, I've never been at, in the Amazon. If you've been in the Amazon, let me know, but let's get it. Three, two, one, let's go. Like everything, man, like everything. Let's see what's going on. Welcome to the Amazon Rainforest, where danger is just a paw, claw, or fang away. Get it off! From powerful predators to deadly venom, we're taking you on a journey to discover the most fearsome creatures that roam this wild land. The Amazon Green is a Anaconda. Crazy place, like, Green anacondas are one of the largest snakes in the world. They live in swamps, marshes, and slow moving streams all over the Amazon rainforest. These snakes are opportunistic are feeders and can eat a wide variety of animals, including birds, fish, reptiles, amphibians, and mammals. They've been found to feed on large prey, usually ranging from 14% to 15% of their own mass, which is quite substantial given that these snakes can grow up to 30 feet long and weigh up to 550 pounds. These ambush predators are so incredibly adapted to life in the water, they can actually stay submerged for up to 10 minutes. Their eyes and nostrils have also evolved to be on top of their heads, which means that only a small portion of this giant snake is visible even if it needs to breathe or check out its surroundings. That's, a That's why its prey never sees it coming. And although they've done so in the past, green anacondas don't go out of their way to attack humans. Most humans that have been attacked were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. For real? Red-bellied piranha. Well, what is that guy doing getting so While great white sharks big. made a generation of people scared to go to the beaches, these voracious fish did the same thing, but in fresh water. Red-bellied piranhas can be found in the Amazon, Paraguay, Piranha, and Essequibo basins, as well as coastal rivers of northeastern Brazil. They feed on a variety of animals, including fish, crustaceans, mollusks, insects, and even mammals. But what you might not know is that they're that actually omnivorous, called, uh, so they munch down on vegetation every now and then as well. And they're monsters, not the indiscriminate killers Hollywood called. wants you to believe they are. In fact, a good portion of their diet consists of fins knit from the tails of larger fish, leaving the crazy, rest of the bro. fish untouched. These fish have earned a very dangerous rap and have attacked and even killed that, humans bro. in the past. Piranhas well, the fact of the matter is, as long as they're well fed and not starving, you can actually just swim with these guys. Just don't swim too close to the female's nest. Otherwise, you'll quickly find out just how sharp and nasty those tiny teeth are. I would never swim Pit with a piranha vipers. anyway. The Amazon rainforest is home to Pit a diverse vipers, range man. of snakes, including many species of pit viper. These snakes are named for the heat-sensitive pits located between their eyes and nostrils, which they use to detect the body heat of their prey. As a result, they're skilled nocturnal they rattles, hunters. They rattle snakes Among them are the South American rattlesnake, the brightly colored yep. eyelash viper, named for the scales of its eyes that resemble eyelashes, the fur de lance, whose unpredictable behavior makes it responsible for the snakes most snake bites in the Amazon, wild, and the bushmaster, snakes the world's longest different. viper. Each of these pit vipers possess enough venom to kill a fully grown man, so it's important to be cautious when exploring the Amazon rainforest. Yeah. In addition to these dangerous species, the Amazon's home to a wide variety of other snakes. The rainforest Crazy. provides a perfect habitat for these creatures with its vast Why? and diverse ecosystem. So if you're planning a trip to the Amazon, be sure to keep an eye out for these fascinating but potentially deadly the animals. Amazon unless I'm with like the people that are around there and know when it comes to dangerous animals, yeah, ants might not be the first thing that comes to mind, but don't underestimate the these tiny creatures, big. especially the bullet ant. Found all over the Amazon rainforest, these ants are known for their incredibly painful bite. In fact, the bullet ant's bite is considered the most painful of any insect. Bullet People who have been bitten often describe the sensation as being similar to being shot by a bullet, hence the name. And the pain doesn't go away quickly either. It can last for up to 24 hours, earning the bullet ant another nickname, the 24-hour ant. Never. Despite the excruciating pain their bite can cause, some Amazon tribes actively seek out bullet ants. They catch the ants and weave them into large mittens made of woven palm leaves. Adolescent males, eager to prove their bravery and strength, wear these mittens for hours on end, while dancing with women as well. The pain from the ants' bites is intense, but if they can endure it, they're seen by their tribe as fully grown men and warriors. Probably good dancers, too. Okay. Whether you're starting up or scaling up, Work happens everywhere. Come on, kid. The 
Vampire bat. The vampire bat. Vampire bats are fascinating creatures that can be found in Mexico, Central, and South America. Never. And they live in colonies in dark places like caves, old wells, on the trees, and even buildings. These bats are nocturnal, which means they're active at night and sleep during the day. When the sun goes down, vampire bats come out of their roosts to search for their only source of food. Blood. They usually feed on the blood of sleeping cows, pigs, horses, and birds, but sometimes they'll bite humans as well. Never. Don't worry though, vampire bats aren't bloodthirsty demons. They feed for about 30 minutes at a time, but they don't take enough blood to harm their prey. In fact, their bite isn't even painful. That's because their saliva contains enzymes that numb the area around the bite and keep the blood from clotting. This allows them to feed continuously without being noticed. Vampire bats are also very agile and nimble. They're so lightweight that their victims often don't even realize they land on them. But despite their small size and seemingly harmless nature, vampire bats can be dangerous. Crazy They're dangerous. known carriers of rabies, a serious disease that can be deadly if left untreated. The Bull Shark There are tons of different shark species out there, this 408 crazy, man. Exactly. but only three of them are known to attack humans. And guess what? One of those man-eaters is so riding home in the murky Amazon. fresh waters of the Amazon River. Bull sharks are big and stocky, growing up to 4 meters long. They're pretty common and are known for being super aggressive sharks, and unpredictable, which makes them really dangerous. Insects. These sharks often attack humans because they live in shallow waters where people swim, both in salt water and fresh water. Monkeys, Plus, they're the really territorial. Bull sharks like to feed in murky waters, which is why they hang out near the shores of the Amazon River. They mostly eat fish, but they've been known to snack on birds, river dolphins, small mammals, and humans, of course. Yeah, so uh, if you're swimming in the crazy. Amazon, be careful and keep an you eye out for these dangerous the creatures. Harbor. Poison dart frog. The poison dart frog. Poison dart frogs are some of the most colorful creatures you'll ever find in the Amazon rainforest, but don't be fooled by their bright colors. They're actually a warning that says, touch me and you're dead. Yeah. These little guys agree to powerful poison through their skin that can cause heart failure in just minutes if you absorb too much. There's over 170 species of poison dart frogs, but not all of them are poisonous. Many are colorful to show off how dangerously toxic they are, while others are plain and completely non-toxic. The golden poison don't dart frog is especially dangerous, as enough poison to kill up to 20 humans or 10,000 mice. How do they get their poison? Scientists think they absorb it from the insects they eat, which get the poison from plants. But even though they're super toxic, people still keep poison dart frogs as pets in the exotic pet trade. In captivity, these tiny amphibians are actually harmless because they don't have the toxic poison that make them so dangerous in the wild. No one knows for sure why, but it's thought that their diet in captivity is different from what they eat in the wild. The Amazonian Giant Centipede The Amazonian Giant Centipede, also known as Scolopendra gigantian, is the largest centipede in the world. They can actually grow up to 12 bat. inches or more, and you can find it in South America, Matthew especially in the Amazon and the Caribbean. The centipede is a carnivore and super That's aggressive, crazy. eating pretty much anything it comes across, including insects, amphibians, reptiles, and mammals. And humans, if it was big enough, but it can't really do that, sadly. One of the coolest things about this centipede is how it catches bats. It climbs up cave walls of the ceiling and waits for a bat to fly by. Then it lunges out, holding onto the cave wall with its back legs and grabs the bat. It can even hold and move its prey while hanging from the centipedes ceiling with just a few crazy, legs. Bro. When it attacks its prey on the ground, the centipede uses its whole body to wrap around its victim and all of its legs to hold on tightly. It's and that wasn't scary enough, cases, it also bro. has venom that can be deadly to small animals and dangerous to humans. A bite from the centipede can cause severe pain, chills, swelling, fever, and fatigue. Despite that, some people still actually keep them as pets. Crazy, right? People are wild. The yeah. Brazilian Wandering Spider. So Brazilian wandering dead. spiders, also known as the arm spider or banana spiders, are part of the Funatrio genus, which means murderous in Greek. And it's no wonder why. These spiders are super venomous. Their bite can be deadly to humans, especially venomous children. Spiders, man. In fact, it's so venomous that the Guinness Book of World Records has recognized them as the world's most venomous spider. But even though they're super venomous, Brazilian wandering spiders are pretty small, only growing up to about two inches long. But I don't they get their names because they don't build nests. Instead, they're always on the move, looking for their next meal. These spiders spend most of the day hiding under logs or in crevices and come out at night to hunt. They eat insects, other spiders, and sometimes even small amphibians, reptiles, and mice. But there's more to these amazing creatures than just their hunting skills and venom. There are actually nine species of Brazilian wandering spiders, and they're all too. nocturnal and can be found in Brazil. Some species can also be found throughout Central and South America. Brazil. The Black Cayman. Oh, From the rainforests of Peru and Ecuador to the sprawling oh, wetlands of Guyana and Suriname, the Black Cayman reigns supreme as the apex predator of the watery kingdom. 
These formidable reptiles are known for their voracious appetites, feasting on a wide variety of prey, including fish, other reptiles, and even massive capybaras that can grow to an impressive 1.25 meters in length. No wonder they're considered the kings and queens of their own domain. But these caimans aren't just any ordinary reptiles. They're large and in charge, with fully grown males reaching lengths of over 4 meters. As the top predators in their environment, they command respect and fear from all other creatures that share their habitat. However, their fearlessness can sometimes lead to dangerous encounters with humans. Unlike other animals that may shy away from confrontation, black caimans are bold and unafraid. They take what they want when they want it without hesitation, and as the largest predator in the Amazon ecosystem, they're more than capable of taking down any animal within their range, even other predators. Their power and dominance are truly awe-inspiring. Wild. See you all bro. next. Wild, man. Y'all let me know how y'all like that reaction video, man. I got one more drop in today, and I'm gonna see you guys. I said from 2 to 6 p.m., man. I'm gonna see you guys later. Y'all stay tuned, man. Like, comment, subscribe. As always, man, you need out.